the single most important factor of all when it comes to the OBC epidemic is satiety per calorie of your food choices. I believe that. I can't prove it yet, but I really believe that's what it comes down to. And, and I honestly, I believe that a lot of the exercise differences we see between obese and non-obese persons are downstream of that. And the way I think that works is that, um, let's say all of a sudden you so start choosing foods that are low in satiety per calorie. So you're just automatically overeating calories all day, every day, day in, day out. And you're getting a larger and larger and larger body size. As your body size goes up, the amount of energy you have to expend just to be alive goes up as well because your basal metabolic rate is most related to body size and most of your energy expenditure is basal metabolic rate. So basically you have to expend more and more energy to just sit on the couch with a larger body. And then you automatically exercise less because of constrained energy. And you know everyone has a constrained energy system going on where you don't want to expend too much energy. So you're just gonna automatically move less as you get a larger body. And so I think that trying to blame the obesity epidemic on, oh, well, we're just all exercising less than we used to. It's really, it's probably the food first. I think you consume these low satiety per calorie foods, you automatically eat more, you get a larger body size, you want to move less due to a constrained energy model. And then um, you've got people who just eat a lot of calories and don't expend a lot of calories with physical activity. And I think you can reverse all that by just simply choosing foods with higher satiety per calorie. You automatically eat fewer calories. You automatically have a little smaller body size. And then you're going to automatically exercise more just to have the same calorie burn. And so personally, I think the entire epidemic really comes down to uh, food choice and satiety per calorie. And that's something that I can't prove, like I said, yet, but that's my universal theory. Now, that's not to say you couldn't drive things in reverse. You could just force yourself to you do a huge volume of exercise. And when you do that, um, you start matching your intake to your expenditure much, much better. And you would basically burn up all the extra calories you're eating from the low satiety per calorie food choices and you wouldn't overeat because you're matching and taking expenditure better. So you could reverse the whole process with just exercise alone. It would just be a harder. harder and a, yeah. a little bit steeper uphill battle. Um, I'm just saying for the average person, I think the diet issue is comes first and is more prominent. But you could unwind your whole obesity problem with just exercise alone, just by doing huge volumes of cardio and caloric burn. I think that is absolutely possible.